Hey everybody, so I wanted to come on here before I actually start um, this video to talk about what exactly happened here in Oregon during our Arctic freeze that happened in January 2024. So I live in the Willamette Valley, kind of central south Willamette Valley in Oregon and we typically don't get weather like this. Probably every three or so years, we might get a snowstorm. Probably every two or so years, we get an ice storm. But this was like very different. I mean, like occasionally we'll get where like the evenings definitely get below freezing during the winter time, but like to not even get to the freezing level during the day is, is pretty rare. Um, so this was kind of one of those instances where I felt like I needed to document what we were going through here at my house. I've documented a heat wave and I've also documented like what I call the winter wonderland, which again was one of those weird winter storms that brought a lot of snow. So I will link both of those videos. They were done on two different platforms, but I will link them down below so that you can see them if you're interested in like weather related content. Um, now we here in the Willamette Valley did not get it as bad as like the Portland area. And I am so thankful for that. Although like I have friends in the Portland area who really struggled with a lot of things. Um, so I don't want to think that what I experienced was was major because it, it really wasn't. Um, even areas near me got worse than we did. Um, so I do just want to say that we were healthy and happy-ish throughout this entire event. It lasted about a week and kind of this is my documentation of that. Um, I did a mixture of pictures and videos. Um, I kind of wanted to do like all videos, but it eventually became almost a safety risk to try to record something in the ice, but I could take like a quick picture or things like that. So anyway, watch this video. I hope you get a better sense of what we dealt with and everything like that. So I hope if you were in this arctic freeze which it sounds like the northern part of the united states was that you were healthy and you were able to stay safe and not get injured in in whatever precipitation you ended up getting but for right now let's get into this video the calm before the storm it is currently friday evening ish it's about 5 30 in the evening and they are calling for snow, snow and freezing rain, or freezing rain. I don't know, depends on the weather, depends on which station you're looking for. So um, according to my weather app, we're supposed to start seeing snow around 9. It's supposed to go for a little bit, have a break, and then go pretty heavy tomorrow. So just going to take you along with me as we progress down this winter storm warning. We are ready for the weather. We went shopping yesterday, got any essentials, got some extra water and things like that, and we are ready to go. We're going to bundle up here in the warmth and just go. So I will take you along with me on this journey. So let's get to the next clip. Alrighty guys, so it is about 9.15 ish or so. According to my weather app, it is snowing. It is not snowing. Um, it's probably raining if it's cut something, but it's not snow. Um, so they're expecting snow like off and on pretty much as far as the eye can see. So we will see what actually happens. Um, the reason I can tell it's not snow is it's not accumulating on my dog white. When you have a black dog, it is so easy to see snow when it falls and definitely not snowing. So I do have one more time I need to take out my dog. So we'll see what happens then and I'll check back in with you then. It is about 10-ish, 10, 10.15. Um, we have still not got any snow. It is below freezing outside. Um, 
and we're kind of getting a rain. I don't know if it is snow or mix, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm heading off to bed. I will catch up with you first thing in the morning to see what the weather does. Day one, Saturday, January 13th. Good morning. It is about 6.30 in the morning. I just took my dog outside and it is, I don't know what it is doing. <laughs> Um, it looks like snow, but it is super crunchy and super cold. Um, they're saying it's about 21 degrees outside, and there it definitely is white outside, but it is not any kind of fun white, at least on the grass yet. It is really heavy coming down, and there's definitely a wind chill. So I'm going to go back to bed, and we will see what happens when I actually get up for the day of what it looks like out there. Good morning. It is about 9.30 a.m. and we are definitely still snowing. It is a really weird snow pattern though because like half of our house has snow, half of our house does not. And then like there's patches where there's heavier snow. Like, there's a lot of wind. Um, they're currently saying it's about 21 degrees, with a, but it feels like 10 degrees. It is cold out here but I'm not sure if you can see or hear behind me, but it is coming down. I'm just not sure where exactly it's landing. So anyway, that is the 9.30 update. I'm gonna go in, get warm, and um, hopefully start off this day. All right, everybody, so it's about 11.15 or so, and we are definitely getting the heavy snow again. It is starting to accumulate even more around here, although it's still pretty spotty and it's still really windy. Um, but the roads are definitely white and seem a little bit crunchy, like more than just like snow crunchy, but I just haven't ventured to see that. I did just see a car go by. But so anyway, this is our current weather. I'm hoping we get some more accumulation so we can actually play in it, but right now, that is not in the forecast and it's a real like powdery hard snow if you can't see it on this video um, or hear it it is pretty pingy anyway so that is my update for right now i will catch up with you a little bit later hey everybody so it is about 4 30 p.m we are currently sitting at about 23 degrees ish and it feels like like 13 12. I am outside taking my dog out. Um, it is not currently snowing a lot, although it is snowing just a little bit. It is really cold. The wind, I think, has died down some. All of the snow is more or less crunchy in the yard. It's still a little bit powdery in like the road and stuff, but in our yard, it is like super crunchy. We have like ice near our doorknobs and we have ice near the door so it's going to be a cold one tonight although they are expecting it to be warmer tomorrow than it is today so i'm hoping that's a good sign anyway wanted to check back in right now they are expecting more snow to fall but we will see how that goes good evening everybody it is around i think 7 30 ish um i just came in from taking out my dog potty and the status update at this point is it's about 19 degrees outside feels like seven degrees um the snow has stopped for the moment although they're calling for more snow the ground and anything on it is like really hard and crunchy um the snow is still like when it was deep enough it's still kind of powdery but definitely getting more to like a hardness which really concerns me for the morning I don't need to go anywhere, but other people do. Um, so I'm really concerned with that, but we'll see how it goes. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna see how it goes. It is really cold and I don't know if I've ever been in it when it's been this cold like all day. So I am freezing, I've been drinking tea and staying with like warm things and our heater is doing okay. With a heat pump, we are struggling some, but it's better than nothing at this point. And I'm just gonna go relax, wrap up in a blanket, and see if I can actually warm up. So catch you in a bit. Day two, Sunday, January 14th. Although the major storm had passed, 
creating no more accumulation throughout the day on Sunday, we started to notice that what could have been snow or accumulating freezing rain that really didn't feel like freezing rain ended up turning slick. It ended up turning into a sheet of ice. You could no longer feel the difference between the sidewalk and the grass and the stairs to go out and relieve my dog were starting to become even slicker. So I ended up having to brave the 22 degree cold to go outside and create a path down our stairs, moving all of the ice so at least I was closer to the texture of our deck instead of slick ice. This worked well, and at least we were a bit safer getting down our stairs. Day three, Monday, January 15th, President's Day. After a couple days of being cooped up in the house, not being able to go anywhere, we started getting restless, and with another storm rolling in, we decided we were going to venture out to the bigger town to go to the grocery store and pick up a couple comfort items, leaving my guide dog at home because we didn't know if they were using de-icers, sand, whatever. We headed out into the town. As we got closer and closer to the bigger town, the streets were getting cleaner and cleaner and more and more drivable. Although everybody on the road was safe, it was still a little hit or miss with some slushy spots and some icy spots. The store was packed and it was surprising how many people were in there and how little carts there were. But we thanked all of the employees that we passed for being there to help anybody who was in need and who was not prepared for this storm. Once we got our groceries, we headed home to be cooped up for another couple days. Day four, Tuesday. January 16th. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna try to make this a little bit quicker. So we started freezing rain at about two o'clock, I guess, and it is really slick. Um, I'm ending up uh, actually standing in our backyard, not the side yard where I usually relieve Bali, but I think it is now 4.30 and I think it is finally starting to defrost. The ice itself is still super slick. But like the ice is starting to break down back here, which is a good thing. So I'm going to go in so my camera doesn't get super wet, neither do I, but wanted to check in after my work day. After taking the previous clip, the weather actually started to turn worse. It was freezing rain that was falling and it was turning the ice super slick. I was having to hold on to the handrail with dear life, wrapping my arm around it just so I would not fly down our stairs. Unfortunately, we had family members fall down those stairs and we had friends and other family members fall during this ice storm. What was happening is now all of the ice that had started to break down was turning into a very slick sheet of ice. We started to warm up, which I was super hopeful. We had yet to get a power outage, so I was so thankful for that. Unfortunately, around 8.30 p.m., the power went out. Thankfully, Bali loves to burrow under the blankets, so I ended up having my own personal heater until the power came on at 2.15 in the morning. Day 5, Wednesday, January 17th. Throughout Wednesday, the rain just started to fall. We were finally above freezing, and we were getting rain, which was a good thing, and it was starting to break down some of the ice, the problem was that as it was breaking down the ice, all of the ice had a layer of water. So it was like super slick. By the afternoon, I was finally able to get down our stairs with ease without slipping. So I was super hopeful going forward that finally we would be done with this ice storm. Day six, Thursday, January 18th. As we started to see a defrost at home, I was so looking forward to a really long walk at work when I had to go work on site for the first time in almost a week. Unfortunately, as we got closer and closer to the town I work in, we noticed that although the streets were clear, the sidewalks and the parking lots were not. As we pulled into the parking lot at work, I looked around and said, well, I guess I'm not going anywhere. The final day. I feel like finally on Friday, we were getting back to normal. At least around our house, all of the ice and snow had melted. Well, 
I should say most of it. There were still a couple sp patchy spots as Bali and I took our daily walk, a walk we had not gone on in over a week, but we encountered some snow on the sidewalk. Interesting enough, this was the only patch of ice and snow that we had found on our entire over one mile walk. So I'm not sure why it accumulated like it did, but it did take another couple days to defrost. This was the final day of all of our freeze, and I am so thankful it did warm up and we have yet to get any more Arctic weather. Mm -hmm. 